Hey guys, it's Domination Productions here, bringing you guys another video. Now, this video is going to regards of why I'm going to quit using my current laptop, which is the Aces Biblebook E203 and AS, or whatever they call it. So, first of all, I'm going to just go ahead and answer why I'm going to be using that until December of 2020 and why I'm going to quit using it. First of all, the first reason that I'm going to quit using it by December of this year is because of how slow it is. Yeah, of course, you know, the, 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 the hard drive, to be fair, um, it is a 64 gigabyte uh, EMM, EMMC drive, and consider the fact that it is not moving parts, it is still considered really slow speeds compared to an SSD. Um, you know, manufacturers, for some stupid reason, are doing this on low-end Windows 10 laptops, and and it's just so stupid. I mean, people are going to consider that these computers are not going to run very well on Windows 10. So, the second reason I'm going to quit using this is because of how hot the processor gets. Yes, this has a Celeron processor in it, and consider the fact that it is... It's supposed to be a, a low-end processor for laptops and mobile devices. Unfortunately, that's not the case, though. Unfortunately, the hardware, the Celeron processor and Windows 10 laptops are so terrible for performance in browsing the web and such. I mean, Windows 10, by the way, requires a little bit more powerful hardware. It requires more powerful hardware than a Celeron. Um, and unfortunately the Celeron processor is not the greatest on Windows 10 laptops. But on a, um, a Chromebook that's absolutely fine because Chromebooks you know what you're going to expect because those are not going to be capable of pr doing a lot more heavier stuff than Windows 10 does. Because Windows 10 unfortunately does a lot more of that stuff than um, Chromebooks do. So, um, and the third reason is because um, I cannot update. I can't update to the latest feature update. As you guys probably know, in the past I have done workarounds to update this to the latest version of uh, Windows 10. So uh, as of the making of this video, it's currently version 2004, but they are about to release 20H2, which is the October 2020 update. And that's supposed to arrive as a cumulative update. But unfortunately, in my case, it's going to be a big upgrade. And, unfortunately, these low-end laptops cannot update to the latest feature update, unfortunately, because of how slow the processor is. Because the, the processor in these low-end Windows 10 laptops are so bad. they It cannot handle those very well. And, unfortunately, you're pretty much stuck. And you're pretty much putting yourself at risk, sort of, because, you know, even though eventually at some point when your version ends support you're going to be at critical risk for security vulnerabilities and you don't want those exploiters doing some damage to your computer. So, so unfortunately, like I said, it's really difficult to update to the latest feature update and it's so annoying because, you know, especially when you have to keep redoing it all the time. So, um, that's why. Now, the fourth reason is because of the RAM. I'm pretty sure not many people know, but this computer is so slow because it has a very old variant of DDR. Um, it, it does not have the latest DDR5, uh, which at this point it's still DDR4, but DDR5 is actually the latest right now. So, um, unfortunately, this computer it has very slow RAM. I, it's, it's not the best with 4 gigs anymore. Windows 10 nowadays requires 8 gigabytes of RAM and it's really difficult because with 8 gigs it works a lot quicker so and you know unfortunately the the whole main process is uh, the only thing that I don't like about this computer is you cannot upgrade the hardware everything that's in the computer is slaughtered on which is kind of dumb and uh, like I said the computer does get hot and I obviously am not liking that because unfortunately, unlike the most laptops that have fans, this doesn't have a fan. It only has a metal thing, which only just kind of is sort of some sort of cooling pad, but it doesn't work that way. So, um, 
And, again, that this is my opinion. I'm pretty sure everyone else has their own. So, anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.